Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, cats and kittens, welcome back to the podcast. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So I, I guess this is it, man. The day is here. The new staking pools have been released uh, for Flexa, and uh, the crowd went wild. We'll even give you another one because the crowd is going so wild. It's, uh, it, it's great. Uh, th- it's been a long time coming. They've uh, There's been a lot of development and more development and continued to development and it's coming soon, and we've heard a lot of that, but uh, they did. They released it, and it's finally here. So the thing I was most excited about was going to be the release of the SDK, and they're, they're still not releasing the SDK. Uh, we have a, a front-end guy, and we had him go look for it, and this is this is where it is. I mean, we're, we're still uh, sign up here, and we'll let you know when it's available. So I was more excited for that, but uh, so we can start taking it apart, but that that's not here yet. So... We will talk about what we can talk about, and in this case, it is the new staking pool. So uh, we'll just hit a couple questions. I'm not going to really offer opinion on this one. It's Anything I say just enrages somebody. So I am just going to show you this is what they have, and this is how you can manipulate it. So uh, if you are interested in coming up and staking the amp that's in your wallet, you are going to come right here, app.flexa.network. Uh, you are going to connect your wallet. In this case, I'm using my MetaMask. You are going to hit the Start Staking Amp. And uh, let's see. We're going to pick this one, and we're going to hit our little button. Now, here's the new pools, and these are the percentages that you get currently. Now, keep in mind, these percentages will likely go down. Uh, you know what? Uh, I, I'm almost assured, most assured, they're going to go down uh, as more money is poured onto here. It's going to depend on usage is going to tell you how much we have to incentivize this pool versus another pool. It's going to come down to usage, and we still have a little bit of a usage problem. But currently, these are the APYs. APYs, these are AP because they auto compound, they're APYs and not APRs. But these are the percentages that you're going to be getting these. These are the new uh, pools that are available. Bitcoin, Bitcoin Cash, Cardano, Cardano, CeeLo, Dogecoin, Ethereum, Litecoin, Polygon, Solana, Tezos, and Zcash. So these are the new pools that are available. The APYs are clearly labeled on it. And again, this is not hard to do. But uh, I, I did see a couple questions. Some folks were asking, well, how do you move money if you're in one pool and you want to move another one? So if you're like buried into this one at 1.29, how do you move it? Specifically like this. Again, with your wallet connected, you just hit that move button. You tell it how much you want to move. Uh, out of my 810 point, a uh, whole lot of decimals there. We're just going to say, I'm not going to do it, but this is how you do it. Uh, and you're going to come up here and it's going to tell you how much. Now, this is the Ethereum fee. This is to pull it off from its current pool and put it back in your wallet. That's what it's going to cost you to do that, about 10 bucks. That's fine. Not a big deal. If you are going after, I want to reject this. Uh, if you are going after a higher APY, I would certainly recommend you go after a higher APY. Uh, but if you want to move what you currently have, this is specifically how you do it. Now, if you're just raw staking amp, you're going to come up. This is what's available in the wallet. You're going to hit the stake button. You're going to pick uh, let's say Bitcoin, we're going to say how much, and we're going to hit continue. Now, here's the, uh, the, the real kind of nut punch for you. Right now, for me to make this uh, transaction right now is going to cost me $75 to do it, regardless of the amount of amp that I'm moving. Whether I'm moving 500 or I'm moving 5 million, at this moment, it's going to cost me $75.52 to do it. So before you start pushing money into here, just from a pure pragmatic standpoint, I would recommend that you do the math. Total value of the amp that you are moving over there, multiply it by the staking percentage that you're going to be getting, divide that by 365, and that's going to tell you how much you are going to be receiving every day for the amount of money up there. Base it off from that number that you're getting from uh, this number right here. So you're going to base it on this number right here, and that'll tell you how long it's going to take you to recover it, all things being equal, meaning that the value of AMP does not change and that percentage does not change. And again, I, I have a real strong suspicion that those numbers are going to be, these numbers are going to be coming down. But for the time being, 16% APY is a fantastic place to put your money that is you putting your money to work that exceeds the rate of inflation so you are actually going to be profitable just sticking it there assuming that the amp token doesn't move now considering that uh 
it's uh let's see where amp is so now considering that you're going to be seeing a lot of this right here over the next few days i'm not telling you what it's going to do i am a big fan of looking at and seeing what happened you're going to be seeing a lot of this an awful lot of this uh good news tends to move the needle this is pretty good news i mean this is uh action is actually occurring so uh, yeah, we're going to see some price action on this, but there are a lot of people that are just tragically, tragically buried in AMP. And uh, when they get an opportunity to sell uh, at maybe not so much of a loss or to sell even or to you know get themselves, recover some of their money and get out, they're probably going to. So when you are, you're, this is what you're going to be seeing. You're going to be seeing these big spikes. You're going to be seeing these big dumps, big candles. So just stand by for that. Uh, but you know what? Overall, it's good news. They, it's, uh, they said they were going to do it. They did it. There's a lot more coming because when you consider how many tokens this actually supports, how many wallets that AMP can actually support, you're going to be seeing a lot more of these. I was personally hoping to see uh, apps. That's what I wanted to see. I wanted to see specific apps that were up uh, being released there and not just the wallet. So it's uh, tempered news. It's good news because it's something but it's it didn't quite meet my expectations. But you know what? They didn't consult me. So uh, there you go. For the quietness that we've been getting out of Flexa HQ, they have been dropping some very very good news and some very very good action is coming forward. So for the long term holders, the for these guys, for the Amp Diamond Hand people, uh, you know what? It's at least a step in the right direction. That's always a good thing when we're talking about crypto. This is a long project, an awful long project. So. Uh, Take your victory, I guess. We'll just uh, leave it right there. Anyway, guys, I just wanted to put this out and to show folks who are still not sure how to stake or how to remove her. I just wanted to show you how to do it. Aside from that, I have no real opinion on this one. Aside from the fact that it's good news. Good news is, is you know, good. It's crypto. Until next time, guys, please stay safe. Please be smart with your money. That's it. Cheers.